Hello everybody and welcome back to Battery Dance TV. Thank you so much for being with us today. My name is Ruslan and this is Jillian and welcome to our Argentine Tango class. As you know, we do this for quite a while. It's not the first class, but today we dedicate this one for the beginners. So it's gonna be an easy entry level in Argentine Tango in order for you to enjoy it in a space that doesn't require, you know, too much uh, emptiness. So, uh, We'll get started with that. We'll do a warm up, a quick follow up warm up, so don't worry about directions. You just follow exactly what we do. 10 minutes we warm up and we're going to Argentine tango. We're going to do a balance step today in Argentine and we're going to do a rock step. And we're going to combine it a couple of times in order for you to have some fun and don't uh, need to stop and start again, stop and start again. So we're just going to combine them together. Good. Before we get started, let's take one minute. Make sure you grab some water. Make sure everything's out of your way that you're not you know, afraid to hit something when you dance. So well, let's take one minute, then we come back and we start with our class. Okay, okay, please, let's come back in front of the devices and let's get started with our warm-up. Before we go into our class, please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. If you find the, this class fun and interesting and you learn something new, then don't forget to do that. And also, don't forget to check for Barry Dance Festival, the 39th year anniversary here. So it's really interesting to watch. We have just a couple of days left. So watch all the videos that we have. It's the International Dance Festival for Film and also dance, so you're gonna see a lot of performances and a lot of very interesting stuff, so I encourage you to watch it over there. Okay guys, let's get started with our warm-up. And let's open our feet here on a second position, a bit wider than usual, hands on the hips, and we're gonna start with the head, nice and easy, tilt it to the side, good, and here. Nice, and side, and here. And last two, very good. Now let's go over the shoulder, and look the other way, and shoulder, and the other way, and shoulder, last one, good. Now let's go to the floor, and look at the ceiling, and floor, and ceiling, last two, very good, come back in the center. Good, let's do big circles to the head, we're gonna start forward, we're gonna go side, we're gonna go back, and side, nice, one more time, forward, side, back, and side and forward let's reverse we go the other way side back side and forward last one nice and easy very good come back in the center one arm up place it on the opposite here push your head to the side if you feel any pain or uh we have previous injuries please stop or minimize the effort good now let's look at the floor push your head down Nice, come back in the center, very good. Let's go the other way, arm up, opposite here, push your head to the side. Now, let's go to the floor, push your head down. Good, release, nice. Put your hand, uh, stay right next to your body and we're gonna go with the shoulders, so we're gonna go up and drop. And again, up and drop. And up and drop, last one. Very good, now we're gonna go up and forward. So up and roll, forward. Up and roll, forward, two more, up and forward. Last one, very good. Now let's reverse, so we go up and back. Up and roll back. Up and back, last one, very good. Hands on the shoulders, big circles to the elbows forward. One, and two, and three, and four. Reverse, go back and back and back last one very good nice one arm up big circles forward arm forward and forward 
for last one and backwards now back back and back last one good the arm up forward one and two and three and four reverse go back and back and back last one good one arm in front of your chest the opposite hand is pushing towards your chest please keep your shoulder down in order to be more efficient and stay there a second Three, two, one, left, go, the other way. Hold it, and let go, very nice. Now let's push with both arms forward, let's push, push, and drop, really, push side to side, like you push the walls in your room, and drop, push the ceiling, and drop, and push backwards, and drop one more time, a little bit quicker. We go forward and drop side to side and drop. Push the seal and drop and push backwards and drop. Very nice. Good guys. Now, hands on the hips. We're gonna go side to side with the upper body without moving the hips. Okay, so we we'll start nice and easy this way side and come back and side and come back side and back and last one there we go now let's go for the hips with the big circles to the hips we start forward we go side we go back and side and forward and side and back and side and forward let's reverse the other way side back side and forward side back side and forward very good let's put our feet together hands next to your body by keeping the heels on the floor we're just gonna bend the knees and straighten the knees nice and easy and we go bend and straight and bend and straight and bend and straight and last one very good now let's go up on the ball of the foot by raising the heels off the floor we go up and down and up and down up and down and last one very nice now let's combine these two exercises we're gonna bend straight up down and let's go bend and straight and up and down again bend and straight and up and down again bend straight up down last one bend straight up and down very good because our genie tango requires a lot of balance let's push the balance a bit more so let's go up on the wall of the foot arms travel to the side we're going to make small circles forward and then back forward we start one two three four five six seven eight back now one two three four five six seven drop good shake your legs a little bit release the tension good now let's focus on the ankle so let's create a circular motions by using the floor don't push it too much, it's a very sensitive spot, so take it easy with that. Good, you can reverse. And now let's put some pressure on the ball of the foot in order to open our feet even more. Now let's put pressure on the toes, feel the stretch on the outside of your foot. Very good, let's go the other way. Circle, circle. Good, and you can reverse. Good, let's put some pressure on the ball of the foot. Same thing here. Yeah? Pressure on the toes. Good, good, good. Shake your feet. Shake, 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 shake. Shake the other one. Shake, shake, shake. Good, shake your legs. Release all the stress, the tensions that you accumulated today. Shake the hips. Shake the shoulders. Shake your arms. Shake your palms. And good guys, this was our quick warm up. We're ready to go for our chin dangle. Before we go to that, drink some water, stretch for yourselves 30 seconds to a minute, and then we're gonna do our balance step and rock steps together. There we go.
Okay, everybody, let's come back. Let's start with our class. But let me explain you exactly how it's gonna go. I'm gonna do the steps from my perspective. So the leader, then we're gonna do the follower, and then we're gonna put it together. So if you're by yourself, doesn't matter. You can try both sides or just your side. And if you're with somebody, I encourage you that you try it together at the end of the explanation, okay? So let's talk about the body position because we cannot just like walk from the street and then start getting down. We have to prepare our bodies and be active, you know, and aware of what's happening. So let's start with that. I'm gonna go to the side here that you can see me a little bit better. Good, we're gonna start with our feet together, yeah. Now the knees are slightly bent, yeah. It's a soft knee action, not bent all the way. Soft knee, ready. Good, hips are aligned with your feet. Hold your center very strong here, up from your diaphragm muscles. So I'm holding it up. I'm not contracting. Yeah, it's here. Open the chest, long neck, and body a little bit forward on the ball of the foot. You see, I was here. Now I'm going here. That's where we need to stay. Both of us, leader or follower, it's the same thing available for everybody. Now we're gonna start. I'm gonna turn around. You don't turn around. We just turn around for you to see the step from your perspective. So we're gonna start with the leader balance step. And we start with the feet together and we we'll align everything that we said. And let's put the frame, let's put the hands on the chest. Left arm here 90 degrees, the right arm in front of your stern, because you're gonna have this hand, the right hand, on the back of your partner, on the shoulder, like right here in this area. So make sure it's right in front of you. The elbows are not high up, are a little bit lower, because it's still a social dance. And we can start with our step, and we'll move a little bit like this. And we're gonna start with the right leg all the time, guys. For Argentine tango, we start with the right leg all the time. We take a step back with the right. Nice and slow. Now you brush your feet and you take a step with the left to the side. Now you step back with the right. And you put your feet together. Good. This is the first part. Now we have to go back exactly where we come from. And we step forward with the left. Brush your feet with the floor. Side with the right. Brush your feet. Forward with the left. Good. Side with the right. And put your feet together. You see, so it's a little bit going in a diagonal back towards your left. Let's try a long more time. I'm going to be a little bit forward here as you see my foot work. And we start back with the right, side to the left, back with the right, put your feet together, forward with the left, side with the right, forward with the left, side with the right, and together where we start. We call it the balance step because at the end over there, we have a little bit of balance back and forward. So let's try just that particular step. Right leg goes back. And come forward on the right. When I go back, it's a toe heel action, right? I can collect my feet here. And now back heel toe. Very good. And you go back and forward. And back and forward. So this is the balance step. Yeah, we have this in multiple dances. We use this forward and back and that's why I wanted to connect it with the rock step because we have even more of this is going to be a rock back and forth. This is just the like a warm up to advance to that thing. Okay? So let's try it one more time. We go with the right leg, we go back, side with the left, back with the right, balance now, forward on the left, side with the right, forward with the left, side with the right and together. One more time. Right goes back, left to the side, back with the right, forward on the left, side with the right, forward with the left, side with the right, and together. One more time, gonna move a little bit. And we go, back with the right, side with the left, back with the right, forward on the left, side with the right, left forward, right to the side, and together. Okay, so we have one action, second, third, come back and reverse everything from the beginning. One last time and then we're gonna to move to the following. And with right, back, side with the left, back with the right, forward on the left, side with the right, forward with the left, side with the right, and feet together again. All the time I'm trying to brush my feet to the floor, so don't take steps like this that you go on top of something, just brush the feet with the floor. Okay, and don't forget about this balance step, action back and forth. Okay guys, so go on the side, practice that. Let's move over to the follower. Let's do exactly the same balance step, but from their perspective. So, because the leader goes back, the follower has to follow and go forward. We're gonna change the frame, of course, and we have the right arm here 90 degrees. Left arm is gonna be in front of 
your shoulder here because this left arm is gonna be on top of my shoulder, yeah? So make sure you're like in this frame. Good, guys. So we're gonna start with the left leg. Ladies, start with the left leg. All the time are doing dangles the pattern. And we're gonna start forward with the left. Brush your feet to the foot, side to the right. Forward on the left. Side to, oh, sorry. Back on the right. Side with the left. Back with the right. Side with the left. Together. Just wanted to keep going. One more time. Let's try again. Forward with the left. Side with the right, forward with the left, back on the right, side with the left, back with the right, side with the left, and here we go. I hope you can see us if we don't hide under the couch here. Let's try it again. And we go. Forward with the left, side to the right, forward on the left, back on the right, side with the left, back on the right, side with the left, and here we go. Your balance action is when you achieve the maximum position over there, which is on the left and back on the right. We apply the same things, heel toe forward, toe heel back, and this is available for all the steps that you do in tango. This is not just for that particular step there. When you advance, it's heel toe, when you go back, toe heel. Okay, one more time. And we go forward with the left, side with the right, forward with the left, back on the right, side with the left, back with the right, side with the left. And three again. One more time. Left forward, right to the side, left forward, back on the right, side with the left, back on the right, side with the left, and three again. Okay, now that it's fresh, let's put in a couple. So guys, come back in. We're gonna move to this angle that you see better. Don't be afraid to adjust. If you're too far away, you don't have to. So you can be a little bit closer to your partner. Go on your frame, left, my left arm and her right arm here, right in the center. My arm underneath on the shoulder blade and she's connecting on top elbow to elbow, shoulder to mid hand, and here. So four connection points. One, two, three, four, right here. Very good. And let's try the balance step. Find your way in the room because you know that you travel in a little bit of a diagonal. And we go. Step, side. Step, balance, come back. Side, step, side, and together. Very good, let's move this way. Okay, let's go. Step, side, balance, go back. Side, step, side, and together. Very good. This angle, we go. Step, side, balance, go back. Side step, forward, side, and together. Very good. This is your balance step. Keep it in mind, we're gonna combine it at the end with the rock step. So. Now, let's go over the rock step from my perspective and then from yours. Same thing, we put it together and we dance both of them. So, guys, let's put the frame up and we are gonna start with the rock step with the right leg. You can take a step back with the right, side to the left, forward with the right, forward with the left, back on the right, forward on the left. Now, right forward, back on the left, Forward on the right. Now you're gonna step completely forward on the left, side with the right, and together. We have to adjust a little bit, otherwise we're gonna end up on the hallway. So make sure that you go a little bit further apart, that you can travel forward, yes? So the rock step is happening when I did this. Forward, back, forward, and forward, back, forward. So you have two of them. You have one, you have two, halfway through the pattern. Let's try it again. And we go back with the right, side with the left, forward with the right, and now we start the rock. Left, right, left. One more, forward, right, left, right. We finish it up, step forward with the left, side with the right, and peak again. Again. <clears throat> Frame up, nice and tall. And we go back with the right, side with the left, forward with the right, left forward, transfer your body weight back on the right, forward on the left. Now with the right leg. Right, forward, back on the left, forward on the right, left, forward, side with the right, and together. Try to keep your steps small, because if it's very big, it's hard to do this balance, first of all, and you're gonna step on your partner's shoes, so you don't want that. Let's try it again. One last time, and then I'm gonna let you practice, and we go back with the right, side with the left, forward with the right, left, forward, back on the right, and back on the left. Forward with the right, back on the left, forward with the right. 
left forward, side with the right hand again. Very good, guys. Go on the side, practice, practice, practice your step. Let's do the follower. Follower, of course, is gonna start forward, then we're gonna go back. So make sure you position yourself in a proper way. Frame the other way, and we start with the left leg forward. Take a step forward with the left, side with the right, back with the left. Now we start the rocks. Back on the right, forward on the left, back on the right. Back on the left, forward on the left, back on the left. Back with the right leg, side with the left, and again. This is your rock step, one more time. And here we go, left, forward, side with the right, back with the left, back with the right, forward on the left, back on the right. Left, back, forward on the left, right leg, back on the left. Right back, left to the side, the gap. One more time, we're gonna try a couple. And here we go, left, forward, side with the right, back with the left. Now we go right, left, right, now back. Left, right, left. And back with the right, side with the left, the gap. Good, let's try a couple, so pair up, guys come back. And we start the balance, the rock steps. And we go, step, side step, face each other completely. And we go, step, now rocks, rock, step, very good, one more. Rock, step, good, and we finish it up, step, side, again. Good, let's do it from this angle. And we go, step, Side, step, rock, step, rock, step, step, side, together. Very good, let me, let me do it like this too. And we go, step, side, step, rock, step, rock, step, step, side, together. Very good guys. Okay, so now we have both patterns. We have the rock step, we have the balance step, and let's try it. The yeah. Let's start with the bounce, and then we're gonna do the rocks a couple of times. Together. Let's go. First pattern, balance step. Step. Side. Balance. Balance. Side step. Step. Side. And together. And we finish it up here. We continue with the rock step. Step. Side. Step. Rock step. Rock step. Step. Side together. Very good. Let me move this way. Nice. And we go. Balance. Step. Side. And balance. And balance. Side. Step. Side. And together. Rock steps. Step. Side. Step. Rock step. Rock step. Step. Side. Together. Very good. One last time. From the same. No, from the. Yeah, like this. Like this. And step, side, and balance, and balance. Side step, forward, side, together. Rock step, step, side, step, rock step, rock step, step, side, together. Very good, thank you so much. This was the class for Arjun and Dango. As I mentioned, nice and easy, brief, nice and short. You learn something new, you can practice with your partner, or you can practice by yourself. If you want to see this video again, go on our YouTube channel over there and check it out. Don't forget to check out also the Barry Dance Festival because it's really cool to watch. And if you're a fan of Argentine Tango, I suggest that you watch, especially the 21st of August edition, which is our choreography or new choreography that I made on the tango music. So I think you'll really appreciate it. I think you'll see a very interesting aesthetic over there. So I encourage you to watch it. We're both dancing in it, and with two of, our, uh, two of our colleagues. I also encourage you to watch the other classes too, because they're really cool and very different. This is just for ballroom, we have three times a week. We have waltz, tango, and salsa. So, let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for today. I hope I'll see you next time. My name is Razlan, Julian was here. Thank you so much, bye bye.